so hello soldatans and welcome to another company of yours to the western front or the british forces live commentary sorry not live commentary but the commentary this is a common mistake when i do commentaries i i i, I it, it's like um how, the, how should i say it it's like the default setup in my brain that i say live commentary <laughs> anyways i am playing against uh donatello he is uh wait a second where it where can I see? Yep, here it is. He is Prestige 1. At this moment, I was Prestige 2. Anyways, uh, in this game, why this game will be so special is this will be literally MG spam. And uh, I had a rant video about uh, Maxims, how I hate them. Uh, and I told it, you can, you can counter it, but only if they are stationary and if they don't move. So in this game, uh, my opponent will be exactly that, uh, and I will show you my gameplay. This gameplay, gameplay will be uh, interesting in many ways. I mean, you see that my opponent has these M5 uh, half tracks or scout cars, uh, bulletins, giving them armor. So I didn't saw it when loading, but here we immediately see that he went with Landley's, so they can provide him with M5 half track. Uh, with uh, guard rifles, so you guys will see, uh, you guys will see a, a, a great game over here. Uh, I started with uh, a mortar because I saw this and this Maxim, and I thought, well, why not? Let's get it. Also, uh, I don't know this MG was waiting over here because I saw these guys there, and I know that they are set up and they can do a first shot on me. But here we see two uh, Maxims being set up. Hmm. I'll stay in the building. Yep, I will. I'll try to get these guys. Well, they'll go in this building, so they are separated. And they are, they'll pretty much bomb me from all sides. They have advantage. These uh, Maxims have greater damage. But the point is that I'm in a building with uh, more health, so I can stand this. Stand at least against one to lower him down to the same HP. Anyways, I use my Grenadier squad over here to capture the northern part. I'm getting one more Grenadier, getting the tier one. Uh, my enemy is getting his third Maxim, so it's now pretty obvious that he will go with the Maxim spam. You guys will just count the, 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 the Maxim squads he created. So far, three Maxim squads. So far, three Maxim squads. Uh, he is pushing with his pioneers down here south, so so far so good. I mean, it's pretty even uh, when it comes to well, to, to, to points. It's pretty even with the counts of army. I maybe have uh, one unit more, but again, he has three maxims, which can help him a lot. Here, my pioneer and engaging the Soviet combat engineer squad. They were in negative cover and they are moving backwards and I immediately assume that there is something wrong uh, because they are they are trying to get me over there and also they now started retreating and here it comes here it comes that Maxim he'll try to set up he'll try to set up uh, this guy wasn't in oh he wasn't in but there is that logic. These guys setting up here, I can hide behind it. Yep. If you hide behind this, they can't see you, and I'm doing exactly that, just waiting for him to move out. Well, these guys will flank around and probably go in that building, but this is a good good flanking maneuver, using my maneuverability. Yep, these guys will get inside this building, so that they don't get suppressed, will they? Come on, get, yep, they will get. Now, these guys will pop out, harassing the enemy as much as we can, and yep, they are retreating. They are retreating, pushed back. This Maxim over here, pushing. Yeah, this is look. This is the way they play with the Maxim. They're pretty uh, maneuverable, and there is a new, uh, a, a, a new patch coming tomorrow, which will reduce their uh, speed of setting up. So that might help. I finally got an elite troops doctrine, stunning these these guys inside while firing at them. Here comes the fourth Maxim squad. He's floating on 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 uh, on his manpower. 
That's a lot. These guys behind the cover with uh, G43 upgrade. Firing there is a hole over here allowing me to snipe them in but they managed to escape. I have my <clears throat> I have my mortar team up close to support me and look he's he's just way too passive with his MGs. Look at this. He's not moving and this is look this this is this was the only reason come on retreat you can do it. Uh, this was the only reason why I can uh, outmaneuver him. Uh, because they are so defensive, they are stationary targets. And this guy is doing an awesome job. I mean, it would be a good idea for him to get to Mortar as well, but he is not. So the Dushka coming out. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five machine guns on the field. And look at this. Just placing them inside the buildings. He's not doing anything. Over here, two, 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 flanking this guy. Trying to wipe him. Will I wipe this guy? Come on, wipe, wipe, wipe. They're suppressing my mortar while I'm trying to get him. Yep, this is... Yep, and wait. 2-2-2 two, 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 here. Here is Dushka. Yep. Trying to harass them as much as I, I can. But here Dushka. Heavy penetration and yep. Armor piercing rounds will do a lot of damage. I must go, must go. 2-2-2 two, 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 escape. 2-2-2. Two, two, two. No, 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Run. Luckily, I managed to saw this, and I will escape. Yep. Will I escape? Yep, I will. Yep, using this as a cover. Come on. Escape. Uh, slipper of health, and managing to escape. Interestingly, uh, and my enemy haven't sent anything up. And look at this. One, two, three. Just inside the building. They are inside the building doing nothing that is the only reason why i can counter it and here i'm getting second mortar because that's what you do you get mortars to pepper these guys only one conscript squad with one anti-tank grenade package would remove my maneuverability over here i set up my mg on mid and i'm not moving it much because uh I want him to be around and to cover this side, to cover this area so that he cannot move with his, uh, with his heavy machine guns, because if he is to move with those heavy machine guns, especially over here, that would reduce my area of uh, movement, that would cripple me so much. Here we see he got the second Dushka, so one, two, three, four, five. And I've killed two machine guns, so seven machine guns. We saw seven machine guns. Dushka over here, being set up again. Being set up again. Uh, yeah, uh, I saw that in that patch they will reduce the heavy machine guns time of being placed. Does that include Dushka or will they still have the same? Anyways, over here I'm pushing this flank trying to... Uh, horizon, but I, I believe that I will go over here and get these yep behind this so that they can't see me so that they can't leave <coughs> Second one destroying the building Dushka down so yeah heavy machine gun down it happens when you're too stationary with your uh, Heavy machine guns. I mean once they are spotted. There's nothing you can do. I believe I'll go for these cutoff points but my enemy is getting his first half check and he will immediately upgrade it with anti-air package for that uh, supremacy against infantry. So far, so far I have a heavy lead, but I'm getting an 80 because it's minute 10 almost, and it is uh, expected for <coughs> for Soviets to get something by this time. Yep, he is almost upgraded, and I'm retreating right now. Here comes the Dushka pushing over here. Yep, finally he is playing aggressively with this. He is finally playing aggressively. Uh, will I manage to? Yep, I will manage to flank him. Yep. Good. But look at this. Here they come. And they'll get my 2 2 2. 2 2 2 down. Oh, they destroyed the engine. They destroyed the engine. Uh, I forgot about this, but uh, you'll guy, you guys will see uh, the interesting part. Here comes the AT. Coming from this side instead of from here, if they if the AT would come from here, it would be much easier for me. Anyways, 
I am G firing, firing, and now I'll be a little bit lucky over here. Look at this. I'll be. I mean, I lost the granite well, for yeah, but look at his luckiness. Yep, I got the veterans, here, so I can use incendiary rounds. I'll move my uh, MG over here because I expect him that he will try to run because AT is covering this, and that is exactly what he is moving. I have incendiary waiting for him when he comes, and boom, there it goes. I anticipated that move. I expected him to do that, and that is exactly what he did. Uh, I believe that I didn't saw him yet. Uh, that he is using that, but I will go and try to outflank him over here with my Sturm Troopens uh, coming from behind. I saw that this is unchecked, and I am immediately rushing a squad. Or, yep, the Pioneer, and to get that over here, I see this main gun destroyed. This will help me a lot. Look at this. Come on, get this. I'm trying to get the Dushka first because that's the part which can turn and kill me easily. AT firing, trying to get this. Yep, two, two, two down. And I'll get the Dushka. My opponent getting a second M5. He is really, he is really persistent with his M5s. But I have one M5 as well, which I captured. So pretty much, I mean, I can try to counter him. Of course, he's immediately upgrading with uh, M5, uh, with uh, anti-air package. Immediately upgrading it. And he'll go south this time. So he is, uh, he is switching places a little bit. Probably because he gets this, he got this, so he won't push there. He'll try to come from this side, will he? Hmm, interesting, interesting. Have these guys over here. And yep, I'll, I'll manage to intercept them. Come on, Panzerfaust, Panzerfaust. Urgh, he'll kill this squad. He'll definitely kill this guy. Yep, he will. Panzerfaust, turn this, turn this. Turning, AT fighting. One more shot, AT, and he's down. I believe that this guy will go down as well. This is a second. Yep, yeah, this is a second half chug which he is losing immediately after uh, getting him up. I mean, he is playing so aggressively over here with, with his M5, but uh, he is lacking support of infantry. That is a bad idea. You don't want to push forward, especially if you know that the enemy has something. Uh, if you don't have any support. So finally he got this half track with assault group. The guard rifles upgraded with the PPSH. These guys have a decent armor, especially when they get uh, a veterancy. But here I got their Dushka. And I'm going to use it. It's so maneuverable. But these guys are coming. They're upgrading him with uh, this anti-air package. And I'm bleeding manpower. Sorry, not manpower. I'm bleeding... Uh, Victory points at the moment, here they come. Moving backwards, interesting. I didn't saw this, yep, I see it a little bit too late, and yep, the entire package already out, and it will easily chop this Dushka down. Will he get the Dushka? That would be a smart move to get the Dushka so that I don't use it. But anyways, here comes my half track over here, trying to go and to intercept their guys. Yep, he'll go get it. Yep, finally a good move. Over here, the Grenadier and pushed him back. I saw that he's over here. I used, uh, 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 it's cool. Yeah, the rifle grenade shot. Here I move, intercepting these guys. Will I get this? Yep, I will. Uh, and over here, I will try to get the enemy to come to me. So I'll, I'll move it. So trying to get him to move to my place so that I... I rule the area. Here he comes. And I'll try to stay here so that these guys fire at his flank. So I, I'll just a slipper uh, more damage against him is good. So over here I have these guys firing together with this. Oh, but here comes the second one squad. And I see this. I'm immediately retreating. I'm trying to retreat. Will I turn my AT? No, but mm, I need some kind of support over here. Escaping, it's good that these half tracks have a lot of health, so you, you can you can you can escape this. Here I move I'm I'm moving back. He is upgrading his M5 half track. Yep, getting this with incendiary shot. Bad idea, mate, bad idea. Turning the AT, will I turn the AT? Here they come. Come on. Come on, turn the AT. You know, he'll try to move this way. AT firing, oh, and, but even if they manage to escape, I believe that these bunkers would do a lot of damage. 
these guys chopped down they are trying to escape but with not with a great success all that time long i was pushing with these two squads down on south without any opposition capturing anything and i'm getting the dushka back again this guy will get some uh, repairs and he'll go back in action. But they have their uh, M5 as well. Here, the one which survived, one which stayed back. He's dropping these supplies and he'll get uh, M4C Sherman pretty soon. Even though that I harassed him and even though that he was on a back foot, this will provide him with necessary resources. Uh, Dushka moving, negative cover, low health, easy target for my Grenadier. Getting the Dushka down, getting the Dushka down, and yep, Dushka down. But, but, there is a Maxim over here covering him, and pretty much that saved his guy's ass. That, that saved him. Dushka. Oh, encountering the enemy, and I was just about to move it over here so that I can cover it, but no. Uh, I believe that this guy will escape, yep, he will escape, so far I have advantage, I believe that I, yep, I already tagged up and I'm, I'm waiting for Panzer 4 because at the moment I feel pretty safe, because so I, I totally forgot about this and I totally forgot, forgot about the uh, M4C Sherman, that ability, that can be really helpful in these situations for the Soviets, this ability, I mean, Soviets usually float on uh, man on ammo, sorry, because I mean the only the only time they use manpower is to place mines or to upgrade their uh, their guard rifles. And this guy is not doing any of those, so he is floating. And usually the guys who pick this uh, commander would usually keep that ammo just to get this. Of course, it's not providing you with a great amount of uh, fuel, but it will provide you a great uh, advantage. Because you literally get free fuel and uh, you get the ability to get tanks even though if you were harassed by the enemy. So anyways, over here I'm pushing with these two Sturm, uh, uh trying to go and scout because I know that there is one, uh, one quad. There he is, he is waiting in an ambush. Yep, here comes the encounter between two M5s. Uh, here I will try to drop a grenade on him just to provide a little, uh, a little, let's say, advantage <laughs> for my M5 firing. Yep, boom! Trying to do as much damage as I can so that my quad is up when it comes to the damage dealt to the enemy. Uh, Panzer IV is on the field. Panzer IV is on the field already. And I'll get this guy, he's turning his back, uh, rear armor to me. Or here he'll, yeah, he thought that he fucked me up, but look at this, Dushka inside the building. Armor piercing rounds, I let him go, I haven't moved back, but this guy just moved around in case that he tries to escape, because I got this covered. Down below, I'm pushing with my guys, have these Grenadieren waiting behind this in case that the enemy is to come so that I can just jump in and surprise him. But here comes the Dushka setting up and they'll suppress these pioneers pretty easily, but yeah. Yeah, I'll wait for this. Yep, I'm waiting for this. Here it comes, he's getting the armor pressing grounds, but this will, uh, this will have to be, it has to be reloaded and this will cost him a lot because they won't have time to fire. Here, throwing some stun grenades and getting them down. So he is way too stationary and this is a late period where you have uh, uh, armored cars and tanks which can outflank uh, your opponent. We see Sherman on the field. Here it is, minute 20. Here comes the Sherman running to me. And here I believe that I'll do one mistake. Yep, I'll do one mistake. I'm turning my rear armor to him. A great mistake trying to punch the so that I can escape. Now I'll go backwards, but it will help. Yep, I'm using the bug, I'm using the bug that I can get through him. But he managed to turn his turret way too fast for me and he got my Panzer Fia. So this is a big blow to me. I mean, I had an advantage, but look at this. Second Sherman already on the field. He got so many, 
so much of fuel that he can get to uh, Sherman's. So he is pretty spammable with Sherman's, with uh, <laughs> uh, these half tracks, with assault groups, with his uh, armored cars and armor. But anyways, he's getting more fuel. He's getting more and more fuel. Here is AT covering this. Yeah, I'm I'm anticipating that he'll try to push through that. I'm getting one more AT, and I believe that I will get my grenadier and somewhere on a flank in case that he tries to flank so I can punch fast any upgrades over here uh, no upgrades whatsoever I'll just set them on these uh, flanking positions just so that I have some kind of a insight uh, where they will move uh, so just so that I can turn my AT in time and that I can react uh, so that they don't surprise me with the flanking maneuver so he has an armor force, but he is lacking any infantry. Finally, he got conscripts, but he pretty much lost every single heavy machine gun he got. Every single machine gun. And here comes the Stug Stug, Stug Life, my favorite tank. One of my favorite tanks. Actually, maybe probably my favorite tank. I really love that guy. I really love him. Okay, over here, where is... Yep, this AT covering that, this AT covering this. I believe I'll get some uh, mine, mines here. Yep, T mine. Probably over here, I I see the enemy coming. And yeah, just to just uncheck that. Now run, run tiny. I don't see it in time. I don't see it in time because I am placing a mine. Yep, yep I stopped it. I stopped it. Because I thought that maybe I can use it to get the Panzer fast. But anyways, anyways, I stopped and now you'll see one maneuver of mine. So over here I see the enemy there and I will prepare a trap. So I've sent a Stug in to lower them to my trap, but they kind of uh, cheeked me because I anticipated them to come this way, but here they come. And here, this is what I will do. Instead of running backwards, I'll turn my back to them and I will, I will make them go for me. I will make them run for me right into my AT line. Here they come, moving backwards again. And now this time I move backwards. Look at this maneuvering. <laughs> Welcome to the hell, boy. This guy moving over here because I know that they'll try to escape somehow. Stun, stun, stun. Stun. Oh, no, they haven't stunned. ATs, come on, turn. My Stug firing. Stug, Stug, Stug. Oh, they missed. One miss, which helped me. Main gun destroyed. Main gun destroyed. 80 getting that guy. 80 shooting him down. This guy will try to escape, but the Stug will anticipate. I anticipate that he'll go this way. The Stug will move. The Stug will move and he will see him. The Stug will see him. Yep, and there it is. Pretty much devastated. Pretty much devastated him. And he surrendered. So in this game... You can defeat Maxim Spam, but you, they must be stationary. This guy had a really bad micromanagement, and that helped me because I pretty much was poking him all time long. I was just pushing my forces all around, and also I got this squad, which helped me so much. This helped me unbelievably. I believe if I if I haven't got it, I will have to, just have to move my ATs all the time and try to predict where he will go, but with this I could be a little bit more aggressive and get him in, but definitely this Stug maneuvering and this AT line being set up really destroyed any hope he got of winning. So I hope that you guys will enjoy this gameplay, uh, stay tuned because you will see some more gameplays, for example how to kill uh, the partisan spam, got a pretty awesome gameplay there where I, on my ESL a uh, game where I was on a tournament, I got a really good game, you guys will see a tactic how to do it. Uh, and also there will be one more gameplay, uh, also a tactic uh, where I, I, can't for, I can't remember what I... Yep, uh, one more tactic I, where, where I played against the Dullahan, a famous ally uh, player, uh, where he pretty much was beating me like for 15 minutes since the start with the Brits, he got like three armor cards and I had no, I had maybe one AT and I pretty much destroyed him in three minutes and I went to his base and he surrendered. So 
stay tuned that will come out soon as well so don't miss that subscribe to get notifications and support the channel thank you guys see ya